you're getting an insider's uh, look at what goes into sentencing. I think no matter how you look at it, we're all going to have to um, live together. The world, as you know, it has changed. The community has changed. It was a morning dedicated to bringing community law enforcement and youth together in an educational setting. Aite Sowa is a board member for Bridge the Gap, an organization focusing on doing just that. It's all about the kids, the community, as well as the police officers stepping outside of their neutral zone and doing something different and building relationships with each other. That's why students from White Pine Middle School visited the Saginaw Courthouse to observe court proceedings and get a one-on-one -on -one with Circuit Court Judge Manvel Trice III. I think for the kids now, this is a very impressionable age, and so for them to come and observe these proceedings and have a chance to talk to the judge um, live and in person and be able to touch him, I think it's very important for them. Amel died um, in the car accident. So the students filed into the jury room and watched Judge Trice preside over real court cases, something he says is personal since he too grew up in Saginaw. Essentially, uh, provide an opportunity for these uh, young folks to have access uh, to the court system uh, so that they are more knowledgeable uh, about what we do as a court and uh, so that they uh, have uh, an up-close view of the criminal justice system so that they can go back and be productive uh, members uh, in their society. Judge Trice tells me he's thrilled to take time out of his schedule to make one-on-one -on -one connections with students. I remember when I was uh, once in their shoes and I had an abundance of questions about uh, the criminal justice system and the court process. Uh, so again, I think it's incumbent upon me as a judge uh, to uh, answer all of their questions and to tell them a little bit about myself and what we do as judges uh, here in Saginaw County. Ashlyn Hill, WNEM TV5.